hi this is session 27 of apg edge course for beginners in this session we will see how to pass quota policy parameters like count time unit and interval dynamically from the request this is continuation to session 26 and please watch session 26 before proceeding further with this session all right let's log in into apg edge ui and click ap proxies under developed app which will populate all the AP proxies which we have created already and here if you could see AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been using in our course so far so let's use the same AP proxy in this demo as well All right, here if you could see mock and API is the proxy endpoint which we have created in our uh, last session in order to demo quota policy. So let's use the same uh, proxy endpoint in this session as well. And here if you could see in our uh, um, proxy endpoint, uh, we are using the quota policy which allows only five requests for one minute and the request coming beyond five will get rejected. So uh, we are allowing only five requests and the interval is one and the time unit is minute. So each and every minute the allowed uh, count is only five. And here if you could see we have specified this value here. And what if we want to uh, pass these values from the request? So how we are going to uh, pass these values from the request? That's what we are going to see in this session. All right, so in order to pass these values from the request, we'll have to specify in, in the ref attribute. All right, we'll see how, uh, how to specify that. All right, in the allow tag, let's include count ref and we have we'll have to specify from where we are going to pass the value so in this session we'll see uh, to pass the value from the request at address section and in our next video session we'll see how to pass this value from the body of the request all right so we are going to uh, pass the uh, value from the header all right so we'll have to say we are going to pass from request dot header and the key of the header so i'm going to provide the key as allowed count in the same way we allow to uh, specify for interval and time unit as well so for time unit the uh, attribute name is ref not the count ref so let's also provide the variable name for this field as well so I'm going to name this as interval and the same we'll have to specify for the other field as well that is for time unit and for this I'm going to name as time unit all right so we, here we have specified both that is we are referring from the uh, variable and also we have specified it here so if we specify both then the first reference will would be to this reference so if we do not pass these values from the request then the value which we have specified here will be taken care the, let's prove that uh, with these changes let's save this uh, revision as a new one so that we'll not lose our existing uh, existing functionalities all right so our new revision is saved so let's deploy our new revision in test environment All right, our new revision is saved and deployed. Okay, now let's try to provide the request from the postman. And here if you could see, I'm not passing uh, the uh, value from the request. So it, it has to take 
from what we have specified in the policy that is this value has to be taken in, in case if we are not passing the uh, reference value from the request so the count is five so it has to allow five requests so one I have given I'm going to hit second third fourth one here if you could see after exceeding five request it says rate limit quota violation so we won't be uh, able to provide any request until it resets all right so here uh, the existing the configuration is taken all right now we'll pass this value from the request so let's pass this allowed count from the header so i'm going to uh, provide allowed count as only two and interval as one and the time unit is minute So let's include uh, these headers in our request and now let's try to uh, give the request again and let's see what we get this is the first request so here uh, we are getting the response and provide the second request so we have got the response and provide the third one here if we could see it is uh, exceeded that is because we have uh, provided the allowed count as two. So uh, after exceeding two requests, the uh, policy will uh, throw this error. So this is how we'll be able to pass the uh, parameters of quota policy from our request. Uh, that's it in this session. And in our next video session, we'll see how to pass these variables that is these parameters from the body section of this request thanks for watching and have a good one